The darkness has allowed me to appreciate the obvious light in this life and the way that strangers can become family, the way that nature reflects a vastness that makes our problems seem so small in comparison, the way our bodies and minds heal with time, and childlike wonder that makes people so vulnerably beautiful. These are things worth living for, and these are the things that make your life valuable and worth living. Ever since I was a little kid, um, I was a very anxious person. I have always suffered with um, anxiety and pretty severe depression. My mom is the most outgoing, like, she's not inhibited at all. Like, it's really hard to picture her anxious. A lot of the times when I was little and I would have like a panic attack or something, she just like wouldn't get it. And she would just be like, okay, like just kind of get over this. And my dad had the same reaction. I don't think that they did anything wrong in that situation. I just don't think that they fully understood it. Mental health is just so multifaceted. It is partly biological, it is like hereditary, it is based on like experience. When you have depression and anxiety, it feels like it's just all unraveled and broken and you can't like really listen to or experience the same things as other people are, like the normal everyday like happiness and joy. You can get to a point where it's just like overwhelming and that's, that's what I felt for a really long time. When I was 18 years old, I was really depressed for an entire summer. I've had like a lot of people leave from my life, but I'm, I'm not ready for them to leave. My sophomore year, one of my best friends moved to Texas. My stepdad kicked me out of the house and then my dad left. Like, it was just, it just kept being like people leaving me. I just felt so abandoned and so lonely. No matter where I went or what I did, there was constantly a gray rain cloud over my head waiting to just strike me down. It got to the point where I thought of new ways to kill myself every single day. I felt that I had lost the fortitude to hold myself together anymore, and I took all of my and my mom's medication in an attempt to end my life. You just sink into that, that state in your mind, and there's nothing you can do about it. You try to, to just build up more strength, but it just keeps knocking you down, and you just get weaker and weaker and weaker, and finally you just give up. When you're faced with that reality, it's just so scary and it's like, you don't actually want it to happen. Just like wanted to live in that moment. I was just thinking like, like what did, what did I just do? This is so scary. Like, I don't, I don't wanna die. Like I wanna be here. It's kind of hard to say like why it happens in that instance. I think it just becomes like so real and you you idealize the moment and you think like, oh, this would be so great if I just like wasn't here anymore. But then like when you're faced with that reality, it's just so scary and it's like, you don't actually want it to happen. Like I had planned out a lot of ways to kill myself each day, but at the end of the day, I would always just think of my mom and how devastated she would be if that happened. Like I've always been her rock and her strength. A lot of my friends relied on me for strength and advice and just like, I was their only positive impacts for some people, I was the only like good thing they had in their life. That was the main thing that stopped me, just thinking of other people and how they would feel. We both met in the San Francisco airport um, on our way to Wellington to study. We both knew that we were studying in Wellington and um, we just like immediately hit it off when we met each other. Uh, when we got to New Zealand in general, we were both in different orientation programs, so we were split up for about a week. I arrived in Wellington 
um, in the international housing. Next day, um, I went into town and I walked back and I walked in and Maria was just standing in the laundry room <laughs> and I started freaking out and like jumping up and down and screaming because I was so excited that she was my flatmate. There are nights when I can't sleep. Wake Since then, like, our relationship has grown so much, and I knew it would from just clicking with her at the airport. And dreaming thoughts. There are days when I can't see. The first thing we connected on was our faith, because I saw her, like, cross necklace. It's amazing that I found a friend who is a Christian and also who, like, knows my story and like can relate to it. It's, it's just really comforting to know that something that's so meaningful to you that someone else can share that with you. I come to every word you spoke but those promises God has always helped me like he's definitely the, the reason why I'm still alive. Um, I felt that he was sending me like those lightning storms when I was really depressed and just like showing me like like, hey, I'm beautiful, like, you should, you should continue and explore my beauty. I don't think I could be where I am right now had it not been for faith and had it not been for the people who encouraged me. I don't know if what I believe in is correct. I, I see truth in other religions and I see beauty in other religions, but maybe I'm here for, like, and that, that night, like, it didn't end because I'm supposed to be here. Music is definitely a way that I've, I've learned to um, cope and I've learned to um, like yeah just be be confident in myself I started playing music um, basically like right after I, I was discharged from the hospital and um, I started taking guitar lessons and vocal lessons and um, my guitar teacher was like you know, you should start performing and stuff and like put yourself out there. And when I did that, I just felt like so confident and I just felt so um, like empowered by doing that. Just opening up to my, to my friends and, and my family and letting them know that this is something that I deal with. Um, like I have just received nothing but support and that has been amazing. Once I finally did tell people and did get support from people, it just made everything so much easier. Um, they have been there for me and not expected me to like be completely recovered, um, but know that like I will have my slip ups and um, so they've, they've been there for me. I'm thankful that I was able to form all of those close relationships to, to make me stop and like take a step back and be like, okay, like life is worth living and, and my life really does matter. I've grown a lot just cause I'm now more open to do things. It just gives you like the confidence to just like open up to people more and just take advantage of each day you're here. Like being here, I've had to be decisive and I've had to be confident in my decisions and um, and you're meeting people, like new people every day. And so it's been challenging, but also been like such a time of growth for me, like in making friends and learning more about myself. Um, now I just like continue to look forward to what um, life gives me. I'm just like excited for the future and I just, I just can't wait for what's in store for me because it's just been so good. If you do not give up, you will be so thankful for that because you have such an amazing life to look forward to. So for now, be calm in the promise of tomorrow's song. I see tiny city lights like little fireflies. Maybe I can catch them with my hands. And I 
I'll send one to you. I hope it